Hey, KW community, welcome back to the store, our in-store kitchen um, for Kitchen Warehouse. Uh, today we are joined by Nathan from the Bully Butchers here in WA, and he is going to show you the technique behind traditional sausage making, and we're going to do it with a little bit of a Latin flair. So, uh, welcome Nathan. Uh, don't forget you can see this on YouTube. Um, if you miss anything, you can always go back onto YouTube, onto our YouTube channel or Facebook, and welcome Nathan. G'day guys. All right, so we're going to try whip up, or we're going to whip up, a um, cheddar jalapeno sausage, which is uh, in, in, in the shop seems to be one of our most popular. So I thought we'd give you guys a little insight on how we do that. Um, obviously, using some products you guys can buy um, for yourselves as well. So, um, okay, we've got a pork shoulder. So we're going to cut it to the size <coughs> so it can fit down the barrel of the of the grinder or the mincer. So got ourselves a nice pork shoulder here which is sort of the ideal cut in my opinion for sausages because it's got perfect fat to meat ratio. So um, my sausage is all about balance obviously not just with flavour but you need fat content um, just for texture and flavour as well so it just helps everything come together when it and comes if you take in sausage. the bit that would normally become crackling off that you yeah can yep it. so I've, obviously I've taken the bone out of this shoulder and I've taken the rind off as well but um, I mean you can ask your butcher to do that um, you know your butcher will be more than happy to take the bone and you just ask for a skinless boneless shoulder um, but otherwise if you're going to take it up, take it home whole um, you've got to tackle with a bit of bone and, and, and rind to take off because you don't want that going through the, the mincer so yeah, so basically, um, yeah, we'll cut it up. I'll just show you the sort of size cubes that are ideal to work with. Um, sort of, we want pieces like this. So. All right, so we've got um, our pork cut up here. So we've done about three kilos. Um, just cut into the perfect size chunks. So we'll run it through the grinder now. Um, we're just gonna run it through the once. So we'll just get going with this. So this is the tray spade mincer, which um, you can find online at Kitchen Warehouse. It's the super duper mincer. We've also got um, Victoria and we have a KitchenAid attachment as well that we do mincing with. All right, so there we have the mince been run through once. Um, yeah, we're just going to tip them into a bigger bowl and we'll get all the herbs and spices sorted. There you go. Does, do, do you only have to put it through once? Is it not a, you don't have to have it as fine as what sausage meat looks these days? Yeah, no, no, so we're not trying to hide anything, so it's all good ingredients, so you sort of want... Yeah, the, the coarseness of it. Yeah, definitely. Yep. yep. So we've got, um, you know, we've got our salt. Um, yeah, uh, we've got salt, garlic powder. Sorry, garlic powder, cumin, uh, paprika. We'll smoke paprika, um, and a bit of onion powder as well. So, um, yeah, it's just a few basic flavours. Everything is dried, um, just so it mixes nicely, and the colour sort of. Keeps in the sausage as well for a yeah. Because on, so. on your Instagram at um, Bully Butchers, they you're like you've got so many different coloured ones on your feed and that. Um, yeah. 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 So yeah, things and it's all just natural ingredients. So things like the smoked paprika, that'll bring out nice bright red colour. Um, and after it's hung for a little bit as well. So. And was that all just trial and error, the amounts? And yeah. have you done lots of sausage tasting over the years? Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, there's always a pan going in the back and mixing up some flavour. We'll start with the we'll start with the salt. There's really no order. So we'll start with the salt. Just give that a light mix. Salt's probably the only one I mix through separately, just so it does get a good You don't get chunks of salt in it? Yeah, yep. That's, uh, that's the garlic powder. Cumin? cumin, brown cumin. 
And smoked paprika. Of paprika, yep. It's probably about half of that. And same, this is the onion powder now. Onion powder. And we'll mix, that's it for the dry ingredients. So we'll mix them through and we'll pop in the, the cheddar cheese and the jalapenos too. Might just get a little cup of water for this yep. as well. It's not too much. You don't want it to be too sloppy. Um, so a bit of water just to mix it through. It just the helps spices. mix. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so we'll just add these jalapenos. I like jalapenos, so we've gone a bit crazy there. And then with the cheese as well, it's there's really no right or wrong amount. Um, just and really... is that just a tasty? Yeah, this yep. one is. Yeah, so um, we do use a few different types in the shop. So um, we use like a smoked cheese sometimes. Sometimes, um, and we do have like a high melt cheese. Cheese, it's, it's a bit of a coarser dice. Um, that works in some sausages, but um, with this one, just for the, the ease of it, I've just gone with the, the standard. So that's all mixed that's through. It. Should we get the sausage filler out now? Yeah, we'll let up the sausage filler. All right, so we've we've got our filler out now. So we've put the mincer away. Um, so we're just going to load load the barrel um, and. We'll, put the nozzle on after that. So yeah, so basically we're just gonna try pack this nice and tight with all the, the meat that we've mixed up. Um, you sort of don't want any air pockets in there, so if you can get it in nice and tight, it's gonna do you some favors coming through to filling. Now we've chosen the right size nozzle for the, the hog casings. It does come with four, so um, yeah, it's sort of like a, a the medium in between. So, um, we'll so what the, would you use the other sizes for? Um, so just different um, casings. So the, the thin, you have your lamb, Fat naturals, yeah, um, and then your Italian traditional dried Italian sausage. You need the big one for the Yorks runners. So, yeah, just different different sizes for different size casings, obviously. Do you ever make like um, cured like a? Um, like a proper traditional treat or anything like that? Have yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so treat so for smoking, yeah. So, and that's the same concept. So, you make it fresh sausage like this, and then um, you, you sort smoke of them afterwards. It's got to be once a smoke product, sausages. yeah. Yep. So, at the moment, we've just filled the, the barrel. We just filled the barrel uh, with our sausage filling. Um, We've selected our nozzle. Um, now we're gonna, we've washed out the casings already. So um, we're just gonna, for the ease of it, we just fill them with a little bit of water. And we just slide them over our nozzle. Now we're only doing about three kilos of meat. Um, so we've probably got a, you know, three and a half kilo finished product, so we don't need this whole casing on. So how many sausages approximately do you think that'll make? Um, three kilos. Yeah, yeah, so three kilos, you get about eight, eight sausages to a kilo for the size we're gonna link them today, so. Um, but it's like anything, you can do the chipolatas, you can really, whatever size you'd like. So we'll grab a knife. That should be plenty there. And we'll, we'll just prime this so we don't fill up any of the casing with air. And we'll tie off the end. And it's just a granny knot, nothing special. So that's just been tied in a knot on the end? Yep, yeah, just ready to fill out now. Yeah? So it just stops any wastage really. So some people don't, don't tie them off, but it really does, it's not hard to do. So you might as well do it. Um, all right, do we want to start filling out now? Or? Let's go, yeah? Let's show us how it's done. Yeah, well, this is my first time at this machine, but. So do you tie as you go or do you get quite a bit of an expanse out? Um, no, so we will we'll fill out the whole casing 
and then we'll tie it, tie them all at the end. So. Just make sure we don't lose any. And the trick is sort of not to, not to keep them, not to hold it too tight because that's when you start splitting skins. Um, you sort of, it really is just by feel. You can sort of feel when the, the casing's at its limit. Um, so you should be able to pinch it like that with, between two fingers with not too much resistance anyway. And I think we're almost at the end. Perfect. So same again. Just cut that edge, squeeze out any air, and just another little granny knot to tie them off. So what happens with the air bubbles if there's a lot of air bubbles? Um, you'll find once, because we, we won't you know, obviously cook them straight away, so once they've been hung and rested for a while, it will, you know, the casing will sit around the meat a lot better and it will really just sort of just set in nicely. So um, it's all about, yeah, as long as you've got time on your side, just to let them let them sit and they'll take shape nicely, yeah. And they will get a bit firmer too. Oops. Okay. Now you're going to show us how to tie them off. Yeah. How much so, of a knack does this take? How many years have you done uh, tying I've done, these off? Yeah, I was probably doing these as a 12 year old in dad's shop. So I've had a bit of a head start, but um, our apprentices, we can get them doing this after one day. It's like riding a bike. So once you've got it, you've got it and you're stuck with it for life. Um, so to start with, it's all about so choosing your size. This is why we do them in our store. Um, so I'll just show you that today. So you pretty much just hand link three to that size, just to start you off. I'm sure there's, there's a million different ways to do this, but so we've got our first bunch, so they're in bunches of three. And it's all loop. So how would you eat these jalapeno and cheese ones? You'd in a roll, what would you um, have them with? Yeah, there's, like I said, there's, the best way I've had them is just in a Weber um, with a little bit of you know, wood for some smoke. Um, cooked a little bit slower, obviously, but um, they're just unreal with that little bit of smoke flavor through these. And then, um, yeah, with the nice sauerkraut, mustard. Yeah, it's a, it's a great little combo. So in the shop, that's how we'd hang them there. So we'd have, we'd have a hook and set them up in the, in the cool room as is. Just Beautiful. to set for a day before we'd cook them. How many sausages do you sell a week? Uh, I wouldn't be able to put a number on it. It'd be, <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty crazy. Great. Kilos, yeah. So this is obviously, this is the tray spade filler and we had the tray spade mincer, which you can get online. There's also a um, lower price, the Avanti and the Victoria meat grinder as well. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. If every, everyone should check out their Instagram account. It's really amazing um, if you're into that kind of thing um, at Bully Butchers. And also, if you missed anything today, join us um, on our YouTube channel, the Kitchen Warehouse YouTube channel or the Facebook um, wrong camera. There you go. <laughs> or the Facebook page as well. And um, thank you so much and we shall see you again soon happy cooking see you later thanks thanks nathan <laughs>